Hello friends, welcome to yet another video. In this video, I am going to detail out what should be your learning approach while you are learning CAD automation. Whether you are learning yourself or you are learning it from a book or a valid resource or a mentor or a coach. So this approach will definitely help you learn faster and adopt this skill, skill set. This approach will help you not only learn faster but also adopt this skill set that works. So the key here is this. Theory is not enough focus on hands-on if you are learning through a theoretical resource that is good to improve your understanding about the topic but that is not just enough you have to focus on hands-on unless hands-on you cannot work with this skill set at all so what are the three steps to follow to gain the inner pants on so let's let's see what are those three steps the first is learn unless and until you learn it you cannot move ahead so the first step is to learn it so while learning what you have to do you have to learn that topic start to end learn it completely then what will be outcome of that learning is that you will gain awareness about that topic so you'll get complete awareness of that topic so once you are here gaining complete awareness then you can move to the step number two the step number two is using that learning so what you can do here you will be using that awareness awareness that you got and you can use that to perform some examples some assignments that may be theoretical that may be just a learning oriented examples so you spend time performing those examples and if possible try to tweak those assignments little bit and see if that works so if you manage to tweak them and make them work a little bit differently, then it will help you to gain some sort of confidence. So this is the stage where you can do the step number three. Once you use it, after you gain the, after you spend time with examples, then the th step number three is to apply. So you gain enough awareness about the topic you also performed examples now it's time to apply or implement what i mean by apply is you if you are a design engineer you will definitely found many avenues to apply that particular learning it may be useful to you it may not be useful but definitely you will find some real life scenario from your work itself to apply that learning so you find out that real life scenario and try to apply that learning into the real life situation itself it is most of the times as a beginner you will fail to do that because it's not that easy to apply the learnings but it's perfectly fine as you keep uh, on doing uh, this thing it will definitely improve over the period of time so you apply that learning in your real, real world you may fail you may pass that's completely fine and you keep on repeating these three steps with every topic that you learn so this is the three steps to follow and these three steps mean you are 
completing the entire learning cycle though it is called a learning cycle but it is not just ends at learning stage there are three stages involved first is learning second is using third is applying and repeating the three steps again so if you follow these three steps while you are learning if you follow this approach this is definitely make you a good CAD automation engineer. I hope this helps. If you have any comments on this topic, please share those comments in a comment box. And if you like it, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to get the notification for similar videos in the future. Thank you and good luck.